Big wine this week, a little bit of electronic music, and then we're going back to nature for the game and wine, music, and games, episode nine. So how you doing, honey bunch? I'm good. How are you, dear? I am fantastic because I'm sitting next to you. Oh, thank Love you. of my life. And we're talking friend. about three passions. So exactly. How bad can it be? Exactly. So as always, wine, music, games. That's what the weekly thing is about. We're a day late here because we've been a little we've bit busy. We've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> it's been crazy. But um, we've still you know, partaked in some wine. Oh, definitely. Yes. We'll, we'll get to that in just a second. Remember to subscribe. Remember ring the bell. Do all of those things. And of course, you can sponsor us on patreoncom games. But what's the wine this week, babe? Well. This is um, from a wonderful winery called Tobin James, and it's in Paso Robles. And we used to be a member of there for many, many, many years. That's true, yes. And we've purchased many of their wine, and we don't have too many of them left, I don't think. I know, this is this a 2010. One, this is a one that we've been aging for quite a while properly in our one small wine fridge. So <laughs> yeah. we knew it was going to be <laughs> nice and yummy, and it did not disappoint. This is a 50% Cabernet Sauvignon and 50% Syrah. Yeah. So it's a very big wine big with wine, lots definitely. of tannins, little residual uh, tannins in the glass at the yeah. end for sure and in the bottle. Um, <laughs> it's a big, big wine with some cherries, some fruit, some woodsy flavors, just a really lovely balanced bottle of wine yeah. based on the fact that it's got the, the two wines mixed together. Yeah. And if you know Syrah, Syrah tends to make it a little bit more jammy in color, so it's a yeah. really pretty wine to drink too. Definitely. You will enjoy this for big meals. Yeah, yeah, bigger meals. Definitely with a meat course or something, or a nice or red sauce course, or something like or, that. Or yeah. yeah, something yeah. bigger than, say, you know, like a white sauce or, or yeah. something like that, I the, think. The Paso Robles, the central coast of uh, California, is kind of known for its heat in the summer. I mean, mm, we were down there over one hot. summer, it was well over 100 degrees. And so that's going to ripen the fruit more, and you are going to get more jamminess yes. in your fruit than you would in, say, a, a Napa cab or something like this. But it really, you know... In terms of price point, uh, Paso Robles is uh, the way to go if you look at Napa and Sonoma bottles and go, <laughs> Yes, definitely check it out. <laughs> great, great seller. Yes. All right. The music this week, we with a little electronica, um, I was able to get a mobile fidelity version of Yaz upstairs at Eric's. They're known as Yazoo over in Europe, but I guess there was a conflict with that name, so they were Yaz over here in the U.S. This was the first album. Alison Moyer um, is the singer, and you've got uh, Vince Clark on all of the keys, uh, of previously of Depeche Mode, so you've got that type of music. This is not Shelley's favorite music <laughs> but it i love many of the songs on here some of them are fairly experimental to the point where um this was playing and then i i, I it was t i took a shower and had it left on oh, and for some yeah. reason it was off when i got out because there was a song she's like what was that music it was horrible <laughs> well okay <laughs> There's some good stuff, and if you're really into experimental music, you probably would really love this like you do. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of like, uh, <laughs> why is there so much talking? And I'm just so confused. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when you get to Bad Connection and <laughs> I, I before E except after C, it can be a little bit... Um, Daunting sometimes to listen to, but Midnight, Don't Go, Situation, yes. oh, all yes, great definitely. stuff yeah. on there. Yeah. So, Upstairs at Eric's. And finally, for our game this week, is a new one that just arrived this week and we were able to get to the table. And that is Renature from uh, Wolfgang Kramer and Michael Kiesling from Capstone Games. And this is uh, a cool game for a number of reasons. But Definitely. one of the reasons is, whoop, get a few things out, is you get these cool dominoes. Yeah, these. But they don't have numbers on them. No, they it's have. it's nature. Exactly, little animals. And you are placing them on the board to try and get majority in various areas and score points as you place your various plants into the areas with the dominoes going along the border of the various brown, uh, you know, dirt areas where you're planting things um, as it goes. So really solid game. Again, Renature from Capstone Games, uh, Cromer and Kiesling. 
very well-known co-designers oh, and very. worth checking out. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a mid-weight game and yeah. it's a lot of fun to play. Two to four players. Really solid stuff. So we've got a really solid heavyweight cab, yep. Syrah Blend from Tobin James. Get some electronic music going. Get your classic electronic music from Yaz and Renature. All good stuff for this week on Wine, Music, and Games. Subscribe. We look forward to hearing from you. Garrett'sGames.com if you want to listen to the weekly podcast as well. And take care of yourselves and have a great week. Bye. Bye.